Hello, this is Vern, and if you're a single woman, stick around, because I will be sharing with you three myths that are sabotaging your chances of finding love on my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited that I get to share with you three myths that are sabotaging your love life. When I connect to women from all walks of life, all countries, all shapes and sizes and colors, I can tell you that there's three things that I hear commonly unknown to these women that are hurting them tremendously. They're hurting their chances of finding love. And I'll share with you what they are and I'll share with you a strategy to get around this feeling this way. The first one is, there's something wrong with me. The feeling that because you have not created the love you want, you haven't connected with the right guy, you haven't been able to sustain a relationship past X number of months or years, that there's something flawed inherently in you, that there's this DNA uh, genetic code inside of you that says, I'm unworthy of love, it's not, it's not in the cards for me. And that there, nothing could be further from the truth. And I'll give you an analogy of why this is absolutely not true. Think about it this way. Let's say that you wanted to become a rocket scientist and your strategy for showing up as a rocket scientist was show up and just start doodling and messing with numbers and then r r launch a rocket to, to Mars. That would be a very flawed strategy you actually would need an education, you'd need to study, you'd need to learn, you'd need to strategize, and then you'd be able to become an amazing rocket scientist. Here's the thing with love. When you went to school, nobody taught you this thing. Your parents probably gave you some example of it, but I'm guessing, if you're like most human beings, they gave you a mediocre or a shitty example of what a loving, amazing relationship could be. So, because you haven't learned the right tools, that's part of the reason why you haven't created the result you want. It has nothing to do with your inherent value, nothing to do with some genetic code inside of your system. It has everything to do with the skills and with the ideas and with the heart opening that you've learned to get into as you go through life. Number two is that the guy I want doesn't exist. That thought, that myth is so destructive and I'll show, share with you why. Because if part of you believes this guy doesn't exist, what's gonna happen? When you show up with men, when you show up at a party, when you show up at the coffee shop, when the possibility exists for you to open up, you're going to open up and show up one-fourth or one-fifth or one-sixth of who you really are. Why? Why on earth would someone in the right mind energetically put out all their energy on something they know is not gonna happen? It just doesn't happen that way. When you believe that that thing, that, that guy that you want is a unicorn, you use one-fourth or one-fifth of your power, guess what happens when you use one-fourth or one-fifth of your power? Shit, nothing happens. And when nothing happens, your belief that this thing is impossible, the guy doesn't exist, becomes stronger. So the alternative to that is to show up with more strength, more aliveness, so that the guy that you want can actually see you from across the room with his eyes closed, he can feel you, okay? Number three is that men will judge you or even leave you if you show up your true self. If you show everything that you have, your good things, your bad things, that men will judge you and men will leave you. Here's why this is the really silly myth. Because the news flash here is that men are judging you today. Unbeknownst to you, when you show up and you're not showing your unique true self, men are already judging you. They're not feeling it. They're thinking that you're less great than you really are. They're feeling that you're less alive than you really are. They're feeling that you're less sensual than you really are. So the judgment is already taking place. And here's my invitation to you. If men are going to judge you no matter what, they are judging you today. They might as well judge you for the truth versus by you not showing yourself. Because I'd rather have someone hate me or love me than feel indifferent about me. And that's what you're doing when you're perpetuating the cycle of people feeling indifferent about you, when you're keeping the amazing things and the bad things about you hidden so that people don't judge you. They're judging you, but for the wrong reasons, okay? And as far as leaving you, Here's the thing, when you show up really strongly for who you are, the right resonance of a man will show up more strongly, more quickly. So, and that's gonna prevent him from leaving you when he knows how unique you are, when he knows how special you are, when you're showing, you're giving it all, that makes somebody more unforgettable, that makes somebody more unique, that makes somebody more valuable, a woman more valuable. So if you practice this, then the chances of him leaving you are less, not more. So I'm going to give you the antidote to the whole thing. The antidote to changing the freaking myth of the guy you want doesn't exist, there's something wrong with you, and that people will judge you, men will judge you if you show your true self, is to create new experiences where you see that the opposite is true. And the only way that you can create real experiences versus understanding this in your head is for you to make a decision, make a commitment to express your unique self now versus holding back. So you start doing it when you connect to men, when you, when you show up in life, you go 10% more, you start being 
more you, you start speaking your truth more, you start showing your radiance more, you start sharing your jokes more openly, you start sharing your views in any way that they come to your mind or your heart more openly. And then you start creating new experiences. You start noticing, hey, that day that I showed up with more me, this guy actually was, he couldn't get, I mean, he, he wanted to get my number. That creates a new experience. So create new experiences by stepping into the real you. And that's how you can start dismantling in real life, not just in your head, the myths that are stopping you from finding love. If you find this is helpful, useful, insightful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, on the description box of this video or on this link on your corner of your screen, there's gonna be an invitation, a link, for you to join my free live webinar that's gonna guide you through a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. It's really, really powerful and it's free. Thank you so much for connecting with me. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll either answer personally or record a video just for you. <laughs> Thank you.